Hi everyone, my name is Julie Lancaster. I am the designer and owner for my company called Off the Cuff Stuff for Pets. I wanted to do this video because it's been a year since I've done one and that's kind of silly, but the best thing about the videos is it really shows you what the garment looks like that I design. I do pictures of everything that I make and I do all types of uh, positions on them. But even doing that, it's not the same unless you see it. So I'm hoping tonight I can show you some of my outfits and you can get a better understanding of what's involved in making them. Um, the, the brainchild here uh, of putting it all together. Um, I am an artist, um, a muralist. I have been a muralist for 15 years. And um, it's getting harder to climb those scaffolds 25 times a day. So I have also been a seamstress for, for many years. And I actually sewed uh, for carnival and weddings and proms and was a professional seamstress. So I'm kind of taking my art background with color and texture and pulling it in with my background for sewing. I worked uh, with textiles for 10 years and just kind of putting it all together and made my little company called Off the Cuff Stuff for Pets. Probably the most important thing to me is the fact that I also breed dogs. I breed a little toy breed and these are the guys that got me started on it because I wanted a sling to carry my little babies in when I take them to the vet and, um, and I didn't want their paws to hit the floor because sick dogs go to the vet. So I started with the slings and they've been very successful. I've been doing it for about a year and a half. Uh, but to me, the idea behind the sling was to make sure that they were fashionable. Because you can buy anything that's, you know, in, in pet stores and stuff, but there's no fashion to it. And I think women want fashion. I don't think they want to walk around wearing paw prints and dog bones on their body. I think they want leopard skin and furs and sequins and, and beauty. I mean, we're women. This is what we like. But tonight, we're going to talk about the, the outfits a little bit, and then I'll put a sling on and show you how it works. So first, what I'm going to go through is some of the simpler things that I've made. Um, I try to really open up every corner of everybody's mind, because as a muralist, that was my job. I had to sit down and talk to my clients and pick, out, pick their brains a little bit and say, what is it that you want? And then I had to go home and sketch it and hope that it worked. And I had to resketch if it didn't. So my idea in what I'm doing is to try to focus on all aspects of dog design, not just the pretty things with the more casual things as well, not just the girly things, also the male uh, dog as well. Because unfortunately the little male dog gets kicked a little bit. He doesn't get all the pretty colors and designs little girls do, so that's what I want to do. Anyways, I'm going to go through a few things here and um, I hope you like what you see. Um, like I said, I try to do every aspect, so this item right here is kind of funny. I do a lot of superhero stuff, uh, Batman, Superman, this is actually Wonder Woman, but you can see how pretty it is. I, I, I don't want things boring, I want things fun, I want things shiny and pretty, and, and I want gathers. And I, Probably the most important thing to me is being a dog lover and a dog breeder, I know the dogs want comfort. That's very important to them. So everything I make is lined with sheath lining or satin. I seldom put fleece in anything because the fact that my dogs have hair instead of fur, it masks them. The satin does not. So they always Velcro the neck and underneath the body here. So I also do, like I said, try to focus on the little boy things. This is one of my newest pieces. I actually made it today. This is like a little, uh, it's called the gentleman's vest. And it looks like a little gentleman's vest. It's got the little pocket. It's got the little clock, the faux clock. It buttons down the front. Even inside this little outfit, there's a little, little a collar. Um, it's so many layers to each piece. They're not going anywhere. They're going to last for a long time. Um, everything, like I said, is satin. This one is satin. It's got an inner lining, it's got an interfacing. The vest part has the same thing. The vest is a tweed and it has the same thing. It has a little bow on it. So um, what I'm trying to do is also pay a lot of attention to detail. Detail is very important to me. Uh, it's what my buyers love. 
Um, this is one of our, our funnier pieces. Your light went out. This is one of our funnier pieces. Uh, this is called um, Teeny Turner. A friend of mine named this one. And it's just a little fun fur. I use a lot of fun furs. Um, again, it's lined. Everything is lined. It's got my little tags in it. Um, I try to make sure that I put at least two strips of Velcro so that they're adjustable. Sometimes our little girls or little boys get, gain a little weight, so you want to wear it for a long time. I use a lot of recycled denim. Uh, as a matter of fact, I use a lot of recycled, a lot of stuff. I will purchase things at state sales, prom gowns, wedding gowns, cut them apart and use them. And I also purchase a lot of things. Um, this is one that's very important, very popular. This one's called... It's a series. I do little series. This one's called um, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. And it is overlaid in a mesh rhinestone. Now, this is not real rhinestone. This is imprinted to look like rhinestone. And it is fully washable. But I would not wash it because of the fur. Um, most of my items are washable. But if they aren't, you know, to be honest with you, you're not going to wash it that often. And it's only going to cost you a couple bucks to have it dry cleaned. I would just go ahead and do that. Um, again, it's fully lined with satin, and it's interfaced. Um, I also make coats. The coats are very popular this year. Um, here's one I made the other day. Isn't that beautiful? This is going to a lady whose little tiny puppy, uh, this is her Valentine gift. And the inside of this is actually a soft, curly fur. It's ultra soft. It's very pretty. Uh, it has the little glitz to it. Um, uh, it's kind of funny. People have been calling me the bling queen. But, you know, I use a lot of no-fray chiffon. And it is very soft. And it does not fray. You can pull on it. It doesn't fray. Um, again, I like to focus on little boy things as well. This is um, a camouflage. And it's got the uh, fire print of ribbon on it. And the, the fringe here, it's got the leather belt, again, fully lined inside. Very nice. But I think one of the things I really want to show you guys tonight is some of the stuff I just made this week. I really love making dresses. Uh, they're so much fun because I specialize in uh, prom and wedding. It's something I really love to do. This one here is one of my newer dresses. This is called a corset dress. I think I need to call it a bolero because it's more like it. Um, this is a beautiful dress. This is recycled denim. Let me open it up inside. You've got the, it, the beautiful interior. It's nice and clean. It's sewn very nicely. But look at all these layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a lot of times, I'll, if it's shiny, I'll put shiny underneath it. So it just gives it that little extra hint of glitz. So this is one of the little harness dresses. This is one that I have designed myself. Obviously, all this stuff is what I've designed. If you hear the little puppy cry in the background, somebody wants to sit in Daddy's lap. Then I have this one. This seems to be a real popular one on Facebook. Uh, I also want to stress something very important. I only make one-of-a-kind items. I may make this dress again, but I'm going to change it in some way. It's going to look just as fabulous, but it will be a little different. I use a lot of embroidery border prints. And let's see the shimmer underneath. Look at all the layers. I can just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. I mean, this these dresses are very well made. This one has the rhinestone mesh on the body. Uh, I use vintage pieces as well. Um, this one has the vintage button right here. That's from the 60s. And let's see. I like to use a little funny furs. They're lots of fun. Very pretty. Very warm for the winter. Great harnesses. Everything also has a D-ring on it so that you can walk your dogs in this stuff. You know, there's a lot of fancy clothing out there and it's beautiful stuff i will never insult a designer they're just wonderful and they blow me away but i want my stuff to be useful i want people to be able to walk around in my items with their little doggies and and get all those praises of how cute they are but the one thing i wanted to show people now this is because a, a sweet lady bought this for me and it's it's just so gorgeous that it needs to be seen 
Um, this dress is called the Angel. Okay, it's got it's a personal meaning behind that in my life. But um, this is a beautiful dress. It has look at the beautiful glitter fabric on top, and then it's got the glitter tool underneath it, and then it's got sequin chiffon, and it's got the petal chiffon trim on it. Then it's got sheath lining, it's so very soft. It's got the metallic rickrack. Underneath everything as well, you can see, I hope you can see this, but I also, I do not skimp on anything. There is a lace here on the hem lace. I put hem lace in everything. It's very neat, it's very clean, it's pressed, it's beautiful. And then this is the bridal, pink bridal satin again with the rickrack and the hem lace underneath it. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful trim on the neck. Uh, also put the petals here. But one of the things I love about this dress is it has the Swarovski crystals on it. So when you move this dress, it is going to catch the eye. It is a beautiful dress. They're all, all over the bodice. And they I have put some actually on here as well. These are diamond shaped. These are, these are just round. But so easy, easy, easy to put on your dog. You know, it's, it's there's made to last, and and that's very important to me. I I, I guarantee my stuff, but um, that's it. There's a few other pieces, you know. Obviously, there's you see these guys. These are my mannequins. Again, I like to have fun with things. I uh, I try to get a big variety for everybody. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how this all started with what we call the bling bling slings. Now I have two different styles. Some have straps that are adjustable. I didn't find that they were that adjustable. So everybody who buys them from me, I get feedback. I want to hear your feedback. And a lot of people said they don't even use the straps. They just put them over their head. So I thought, you know, that's a smart idea. My girlfriend Marlene, I adore, gave me this brilliant idea just to sew them down flat. And because that's how she wore hers, and she's she has many of them. Um, I'm gonna stand up here. I'm gonna put it on like this because they're lined. They are extra padding up here. They have decorative buttons on them. They have a pocket inside of them. They have a leash attachment inside of them. And these things sold like crazy at the last show I did. One person put it on, they walked around, and oh my goodness, they just sold and sold. I was a very happy weekend. And of course, here's my little model. This is Miss Jetta Jane. Jetta goes to all the shows with me. And Jetta will get in here, and she'll get all cozy, and she'll go to sleep. The funny thing about Jetta is that she developed a fear for thunder. I don't know why. She's, you know, she's not a, a puppy puppy. She's four years old almost. But this year we've had a lot of storms, and she got very scared. And somebody had said that their dog was scared of thunder too, and they put on the sling, and they popped the puppy in there, and they went right to sleep. I did it, and it worked. So I think it has a dual purpose. Um, anyways, here's Jetty. They are, they are. She'll snuggle down in there after a while. She'll go to sleep. These things are great when you're in the store. I will admit I have done a bad thing and gone to the stores where you're not supposed to bring your dogs in. Slip her in there and walk in there. They think I have a scarf on them. So they have their, their uh, many uses. But more than anything, um, your hands are free. The dog is secure. It's comfortable. They hold up to 15 pounds. I know that uh, at the shows, I'll carry three of my toy breeds in, in one of them. And uh, they, they seem to be very content in these. They just, they just settle right in. So... That's it, guys. Um, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you watching my video, um, and I certainly appreciate all my wonderful followers and fans. Uh, I've reached over a thousand people on Facebook this week, which made me really feel good. Um, your support is what's helping me above anything else to just have this amazing drive to go farther and farther. So. Anyways, I wanted to thank you guys, and uh, I hope you'll visit me, and I hope you'll visit my website, which is www.offthecuffstuffforpets. Don't forget the four pets. Thank you. Good night.